In our timeline, the titanosaurs were the undisputed heavyweights of the Cretaceous biological cathedrals of bone and muscle, reaching lengths of over 100 feet. But evolution is a master of adaptation, governed by the resources available. Today, we initiate Simulation 44b. What if a population of these behemoths became trapped on an isolated archipelago? Welcome to the world of the miniature sauropods. On the Hatag Island simulation, the rules of physics remain, but the rules of biology have shifted. This is Magyarosaurus dacus, not a hatchling, but a fully grown adult, no larger than a modern pony. Without the threat of giant predators and limited by the island's finite vegetation, their bodies shrunk over generations, a phenomenon known as island dwarfism. Their metabolism has accelerated. They are nimbler than their mainland cousins, capable of navigating rocky terrain and dense thickets that would have been a death trap for a hundred-ton giant. Here, social structures are intimate. In this compressed ecosystem, intelligence and social bonding have replaced sheer bulk as the primary survival mechanism. These miniature giants remind us that greatness is relative. In the Paleoverse, survival isn't always about being the biggest, it's about being the perfect fit for your world. But if a giant can become small, what happens when a small predator is given millions of years of isolation to grow? What, what if, simulation, do you want to run next in the Paleoverse? <laughs>